Hello kids, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Lesson 13. Okay, now that you know a lot of different places around town, let's repeat with me, okay? So let's go. Bookstore, pharmacy, gym, school, supermarket, pet store, bank, library, shopping mall, park, and toy store. Hospital, train station, cafe, Police station, museum, airport, supermarket, newsstand, bus stop, and movie theater. So last class, we learned how to form sentences in the affirmative and negative, singular and plural, talking about places in the city. So now, I want you to get your notebooks because you're going to write sentences for me by looking at a map, okay? Alright guys, so for this activity, you're going to do in your English notebook, okay? I want you to form sentences using there is, there are, there isn't, or there aren't any, okay? Let's look at the example. So, the first word is cafés, so we have it in the plural. Let's look at the map and see if we have cafés on the map. Do you see any cafés? Yes, there are two. So, the example, the, the first uh, sentence in the example is there are two cafés, okay? Now, I want you to do the same with all the other words, okay? So, do the same with museum, stores, supermarket, banks, restaurants, newsstand, library, shopping malls, police station, hospitals, and bus stops. Pay attention to see if the sentence is in the plural or singular, okay? Okay, now you're going to learn how to form questions using there is and there are, okay? So, we saw the affirmative sentence like this, there is a café on the street. And for plural, there are houses on the street. Now, let's form a question in the singular. So, what do we have to do? We have to bring the is to the beginning of the sentence. And that would make, is there a supermarket? And we can answer, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. And to form the question in the plural, we bring the are to the beginning of the sentence. So, it's going to be like this. Are there any stores? And we can answer, yes, there are, or no, there aren't. And to form the question in the plural, we also must add any, just like the sentence is in the negative form, okay? Let's practice a little more. So, let's look at this little map. Is there a movie theater? Yes, there is. Great. Let's go to the next one. Is there a bus stop?
Yes, there is. Great. Next one. Is there a pet store? No, there isn't. Is there a police station? No, there isn't. Are there any stores? Yes, there are. Are there any parks? No, there aren't. Is there a train station? Yes, there is. Is there a bank? Yes, there is. Are there any toy stores? No, there aren't. Is there a gym? No, there isn't. Okay, now we are going to learn a few more prepositions of place, okay? Let's pay attention. I want you to repeat after me, okay? So, this first one we have next to. So, the example is the newsstand is next to the movie theater. In this one, we have between. So, the example is the movie theater is between the newsstand and the candy store. And for this one, we have in front of. So, the example is the bus stop is in front of the supermarket. And here we have across from, so the example is the police station is across from the park. And the last one we have on, so the example is the cafe is on Main Street. We use on when we want to say the name of the street or the name of the road or avenue, okay? For this one, we could also say the supermarket is on Main Street, the newsstand is on Main Street, the museum is on Main Street, okay? So this we use it before the name of the street. All right, let's practice a little bit, okay? Look at the map, okay? Is there a movie theater on Main Street? No, there isn't. Next question. Is there a supermarket on Park Street? Yes, there is. Next one. Are there any cafes? On First Street. No, there aren't. Now, can you please tell me where is the cafe on Park Street? So, here we're going to use the prepositions, okay? So, for example, the cafe is between the train station and the fashion store. Okay, so you're going to give me the prepositions that we just reviewed. Where is the where is the bus stop on Main Street? It's next to the cafe. Very good. Now where is the movie theater on Park Street. It's next to the supermarket. Good. 
Now, where is the newsstand on 1st Street? It's next to the movie theater. Great! across from the train station Is there a bus stop near here? Yes there is, it's very near It's across from the police station And are there any stores near here? Yes there are, they're very near There's a candy store, there's a pet store There's a clothes store and a shoe store there's a lot of shopping and a grocery store too Lots of shopping and a grocery store too And a grocery store too Now let's complete the activity book Page 23 for number eight, you're going to complete the rules for me, okay? Complete with there is, there are, there isn't, there aren't, okay? And for number nine, you're going to complete the question, look at the map, and answer the question. Focus on the plural or singular, okay? In order to complete the sentences. For exercise number 10, you have to complete with the prepositions in, under, on, or behind, okay? So look at the picture to complete. Uh, here we have a few uh, vocabulary words. For example, number 3 is trash can. And number 4 and number 2, it's a car, okay? So pay attention on that in order to complete the sentences. Are you finished? Let's check your answers. Okay, so let's check your answers for exercise 8. So here we have, there is a cafe on the street, there are houses on the street. Is there a supermarket? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Are there any stores? Yes, there are. Or no, there aren't. For exercise number nine, exercise two, we have, is there a movie theater on Cash Street? Yes, there is. Number three, are there two movie theaters on Cash Street? No, there aren't. Number four, are there three bus stops on Cash Street? No, there aren't. Five, is there a train station on Cash Street? No, there isn't. And number six, are there 14 cats on Cat Street? No, there aren't. And the last one, number nine. So we have two. Rat number two is under the car. Rat number three is in the trash can. And number four, rat number four is on the car. All right, kids, that's all for today. I see you next week. Bye bye.